In this video, we are going to talk about the number of objects, and we're going to count some stars, and we're going to find out if the number changes based on the arrangement of the stars. So let's start by, let's go ahead and count the stars that we have here. So we'll say this is one, this one is two, this one is three, this one is four, this one is five, we'll call this one six, this one is seven, and this one is eight. So it looks as though we have eight stars. So let's just put that up here at the top. And now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move these stars around. I'm going to erase the numbers and we'll see if this changes anything about the number of stars that we have. So let's move this one over here, this one over here. We're just going to arrange them any way we want to, like that. So now let's go ahead and count these stars again, and I'll go ahead and number them like we did before. So this one is one, this one is two, this one is three, over here is four, this one is five, this one is six, this one is seven, and this one is eight. So we still have eight stars, even though they are in a different arrangement. They have not, we have not changed the number of stars, we've just changed their position. And that doesn't change the number that we have. So let's go ahead and move them around one more time, just for fun. <coughs> so I'll erase the numbers again, and then we'll go ahead and move Let's see, let's put this one here, that one there, that one there, and then let's put this one over here, this one here, that one there, and that one there. So let's go ahead and count these stars one last time to see if the number of stars has changed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still have eight stars. So what I wanted to show you today is no matter how the stars are arranged, no matter what configuration they're in, no matter where they're positioned, we still have the same number. And you can check this just by counting each time. 